Hello everybody, welcome to Renexcel.com. In this video, I am going to show how to migrate virtual machine from one host to another host in vCenter server. Let's go for the installation procedure. First step, login into your vCenter server. Click login. After login, now click vCenter inventory list. Now go to host. Here I am having two host. Now I am going to create data NFS. Now I am going to create NFS data center. For that you go to data store and click plus option to create new data store. Choose the location and click next. Select NFS and again click next. Select the version of NFS, click next and mention name. I'm going to give NFS iPhone data store. Enter the mount point date of enter the export directory. I'm going to give MNT VM share. This is my mount directory for NFS from NFS server. Now enter the NFS server IP address 7.235. This is my NFS server IP. And if you want to protect read only means you can choose this option, otherwise, keep it default. Click next. I'm going to access this two hosts for NFS configuration. So click two options. So select to host. Now click next. This is the summary result of NFS configuration. After cross check this status, now click finish. Now the NFS data store is successfully created. You can see the data store list. This is my NFS data store and this is my this is my first host data store and this is my second host data store location and this is the newly created NFS data store after creating NFS data store now it's time to do the migration steps for that pre-request is you should enable the vMotion service in both the EXXI hosts this is my EXXI host so that is located in networking and select VM kernel nix here you should click this VM K0 and edit settings come to service you should enable the vMotion I have enabled earlier you should enable this option that one, then only the migration process will work same process you should do on other host also after done these settings, now click save option. Now come to the vSphere client. Now I am going to create on virtual machine. So go to the data center, NFS data center. Here you should create on virtual machine. You should upload the ISO image from this NFS data store only. Now move on ISO image into newly created NFS data store location. I, this is my EXSI host one data center. I have ISO images. I am going to copy this image into NFS data store click OK now it's copying I'm going to create on virtual machine here click new next enter the name of virtual machine I'm going to install CentOS 7 minimal so that's why I'm mentioning mini and select the location click next here you can select the host 
for creating virtual machine I am going to create virtual machine on uh, this uh, host after choosing this click next and select the data store I am going to use NFS data store click next choose the EXXI version and finally click next here you can select NX related enterprise as someone click next here you can customize the hardware here I am going to give memory 1 GB for minimal configuration of uh, CentOS 7 hard disk is default and uh, I am going to upload ISI image from data store NFS data store here this is my ISI image click OK and uh, enable the connect then only it will be work after that click next this is your summary cross the settings and click finish now the VM is created I'm going to start the VM press start this press this button to start now VM is started here you can see the VM is starting I'm going now I'm going to migrate so migrate basically having two types one is hot migration and another one is cold migration hot migration is nothing but migrating running virtual machine from one was to another was migrating the power off or suspended virtual machine from one was to another was is called cold migration now I am going to implement hot migration the process is running now click migrate now yeah choose change compute resource only and click next and uh, select the host to migrate I have chosen this one click next you should keep VM network as default and click next use scheduled vMotion with high priority this was recommended and click next this is the summary and uh, after cross checking this summary now click finish to complete this migration process you can see here the migration process is running and the status will be shown below now the migration is completed successfully now I am going to check the migration process this is my first host now I am going to select my destination host click hostess this is my destination host now select the destination host click virtual machine Here you can see the virtual machine CentOS 7 mini is migrated into this destination host 7.203 now click this virtual machine now you can see the installation process is starting click continue to install this process now you can see the migration process is working fine without any disturbance this is the method to migrate virtual machines from one host to another host by using this vCenter service thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel linux help for further tutorial visit linuxhelp.com any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com